How does a robotic arm in a manufacturing facility repeat the exact same movements over and over? How does an automated milling machine move with such precision? It's all because of the stepper motor. What's special about the stepper motor is that it can control the angular position of the rotor without a closed feedback loop. It is a simple, accurate, and open loop system. Let's first understand how the variable reluctance type of stepper motor works, which is the simplest one. Later on, we will move to a highly accurate and commonly used motor type. This motor has six stator teeth and can be energized with three separate DC power sources. The rotor is made of a stack of steel laminations. It has a different number of teeth than the rotor, four in this case. This is done intentionally so that only one pair of rotor teeth is aligned with the stator at a time. You can explain how this stepper motor works by yourself. If you de-energize coil A and energize B, it becomes clear that the rotor will rotate as shown. From the geometry, it is clear that the one step size is 30 degrees. To get the next step, de-energize coil B and energize C. After that, coil A becomes energized again. In short, the rotor moves to the position with the least reluctance. The step size of this motor is 30 degrees. You can improve the accuracy to 15 degrees with a small trick. When coil A is energized, the rotor is in this position. We know that when coil B is energized, it moves 30 degrees. What happens when coils A and B are energized together? The rotor will come to a position between these two cases, or it will move 15 degrees. After this, de-energize A. Then, after reaching B, energize C as well. This kind of operation is known as half-stepping. The motor we have been discussing is called a variable reluctance motor. The most versatile and commonly used stepper motor is the hybrid motor type. Let's explore the functioning of a typical 1.8 degree step size hybrid motor. The hybrid motor has an axially magnetized rotor with toothed steel caps. So one end of the rotor becomes the north pole and the other end becomes the south pole. The accuracy of this motor lies in the clever arrangement of the rotor and stator teeth. Let's understand it first. The rotor has 50 teeth. To understand the stator teeth arrangement, first assume that the stator has 50 teeth as well. However, the stator actually has two fewer teeth than the rotor. So we are left with 48 teeth. Let's arrange the 48 teeth into four group pairs as shown. Now let's realign these groups. The green set moves so that it is half aligned with the rotor. The teeth of the yellow group are completely unaligned with the rotor teeth. The blue group is half aligned with the rotor. The red group remains in place. In short, the red set is completely aligned with the rotor, while the yellow set is unaligned. The other two sets are half aligned. Please remember that the rotor end facing you acts like the south pole. The stator coils are connected as shown. They are two independent coil sets. When set A is energized, the stator forms a magnetized pattern as shown. One pair of stator poles acts as the north pole and the other as the south pole. As the opposite poles attract, they will be aligned. The same polarity poles will be unaligned. When the coil B is energized, observe what happens to the rotor. It has to rotate by a small angle in order to align with the new north pole. It is clear that this angle is one quarter of the angular pitch. In other words, the rotor moves by 1.8 degrees. Next, 
set A is energized with the opposite polarity. Again, the rotor moves by 1.8 degrees. This process is repeated and a highly accurate motion is achieved by the motor. The step angle resolution can be further improved by half stepping. It is interesting to note that the north end cap teeth are placed in between the south end teeth. This way, the alignment of the opposite polarity poles are guaranteed again. So, this is how a hybrid stepper motor works. They are ideal for applications where precise movements and simple control are desired. At Learn Engineering, we are able to continue our educational video production service due to the support of our patrons. Your support at Patreon.com is highly appreciated. Thank you.